Got all these battlefields, Ben. So many wars, so little time. All right, well, let's go with the latest, the newest war, World War II. <laughs> no, probably, honestly, probably one of the top 10 wars of all time. Oh yeah, no, uh, top 10 war betrayals probably happened somewhere in, in World War II. Uh, it's uh, a, lot of, a lot of big moments. Yeah. Uh, hey, a lot of qu battlefield moments. Quick question before you launch into this. Okay. Why is there a YouTube-ass thumbnail over there on this front screen of Battlefield? Uh, look, World War II was a complicated and often confusing time, and we had to rely on, uh, back in the 40s, we had to rely on, uh, you know, uh, the hashtag Game Changers to tell us how to play our fucking class. Great World War II, greatest war of all time? Not clickbait. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so yeah, it's World War II, but it, you know, it, it's, uh, it's Battle, which is where World where Battlefield started. Yes. Uh, with World War II games. Uh, they got into the modern stuff, they got into World War I last time out, and here we have World War II in Battlefield V. Uh, the sequel to, uh, Battlefield... <laughs> the fifth Battlefield game. The sequel to Battlefield One, which was not the first Battlefield. Alright, look. I can't wait for Battlefield 1943 they did, Two. They, yeah, okay, alright, yeah, sure, why not? Uh... Let's get into it. Uh, you can, you know, th there's stuff around the, I think these menus are not great. I, I've, I, I feel like a lot of the things around the edges of the Battlefield experience have, have not been uh, outstanding. Um, and I think some of these menus are, are kind of a hassle. Uh, you know, let's just, uh, let's do something. Let's just go into Conquest. It's what you're here for. I am. I love conquest. being a conquistador. They really liked the voice of the art director for Battlefield because he did all the voices. He did, does all the reads for these tutorial videos. In order to secure victory, you must bleed the enemy tickets. I understand it. Yeah, he's got a good voice. Yeah. Of the flags and eliminating enemy soldiers. Soldiers. Finding game. Okay, so this game is officially out now. I, I've been playing it for well, I have not been playing a ton of it, but but playing it off and on for a week or so. Okay, that was way shorter. And you so played in the beta, right? Uh, I did play a little bit of the beta, yeah. Uh, and uh, matchmaking time's been long, but that only took 11 seconds. But it said, like, oh, I might take a minute 36. I'm like, wait, that seems like a long time. Last week I was having some trouble getting into games at times. Okay. Um, so this is a, you know, class-based... Is this just the mode? Is this the, the big... This is the big battlefield. You know, they, they've got some new modes this time. They've got, you know, and, and you can play team deathmatch. You can do domination. You know, there's other stuff to do for sure. But conquest is kind of the, hey, it's battlefield. Uh, and that's my take on Battlefield 5. Hey, it's battlefield. <laughs> They've made some changes around the edges and, and, you know, mixed up some classes and some abilities and little things like that. Yeah, uh, I mean, I, I'm sh I don't want to speak for the general population, but I have a feeling that people who like Battlefield don't really want them to shake it up too much. It's like Call of Duty, right? You kind of, you know basically what you want. You want them to just kind of make the stuff around the edges and the modes maybe a little more interesting. Yeah. Hey Jan, this, we, we saw the countdown on this TV out here. I'm worried that it's program feed and not a direct, more lagless. Can you switch me over? Just crouch while you switch me over. We have now taken objective able. Oh. That, okay, that's a little more. That's a little more. Okay, thanks. Now that's World War II. Now that's World War II. Um, I think it's pretty squad. nice looking. Yeah, I'm in, I'm in a squad. Uh, you know, we're a, it's a four-man team. You can spawn on your squad. Uh, the, the someone in your squad can kind of give orders about where to go next and stuff like that. Uh, and you know, you see up there at the top, uh, we've got uh, almost three of the control points here: A, B, and C. The enemy has D, E, and F. Huh? And uh, Have they always had even control points? Uh, I think it's there's definitely been some where it's been five points. Yeah. Uh, and I, I think that's map specific. I've yet I've. Uh, not seen this map before, uh, which is cool, because it, it seems like there's been a lot of the same map over and over again. I feel like most of my time spent playing has been on the map from the beta. I think I shot you before you shot him. That's the battlefield experience. Uh, we can call for help to try to get a medic over here. We can, uh, hold down to look up at the sky and bleed out. The alert. We're losing objective Charlie. What class are you playing right now? Uh, this is Assault. Okay. Uh, which is, you know, pretty standard, like, hey, I got the guns. Yeah. Uh, everyone can revive everyone. Um, just medics revive players better. Um, it's like faster, oh, more oh. health or something? 
Nice, you shot that guy before he shot you. I did. I got him in the head as well. I do have one healing pack I can use if I can get... Oh, no. Nope. I should have just punched it. Uh, we can look around here. It'll tell you if any players are close to you. If you're like, hey, you're likely to get revived. Though, in my experience, plenty of players are close to you, and they never revive you. Yeah. Uh, all right, let's go back to the control point B here and move out. Uh, that, those little marks around D up there, does that mean you guys are trying to contest it? Uh, that, this, that means the squad uh, leader has said, hey, we should go take D. Okay. And you'll get bonus points uh, for following orders. Ah, like the Nazis. I don't know if they got bonus points. I don't know what they got. Um, what are you working with in, uh, in terms of abilities and stuff like that? So kind of your non-gun dealings. Um, it's pretty straightforward stuff. Um, oh, oh, yeah. See, I, I ran too far forward. Um, when I respawn here a little further back, I, I should be able to... Do some of that. I have a... Uh... Protect the goose needs a medic. All right. So this uh, squ uh, squad spawn stuff is cool because it always puts you near your guys and all that sort of stuff. But it leads to some situations where, like, you look through a window and there's one enemy and you crouch and then pop back up and then suddenly oh. there are three. And, you, you know, they just appear and you're like, fuck this. Like, this is not the situation it was a second ago. It's the, like, sometimes that seems a little unfair. Like, maybe you shouldn't be able to spawn exactly on your squad if there's enemies there. Well, it's, if, if, if an enemy is, if, if, if your guy is flagged as being in combat like this, like, I can't squ uh, spawn on him because he's in combat. Okay. But players can get pretty close to other, to enemies and such. Uh, oh, God. I really like how seamless that spawn is. Yeah, it, it's a really cool, uh, it, it's, it's, it's pretty cool how it just kind of like the camera stops following the other player and you appear and that's you. It's neat. Um. Alright. Looks like a squad, like, went around and... Alright, he's pretty far away. But he's also, okay, he's the only squad mate still standing, so let's just go. Um, all right, so what do I have? I got a pistol, um, I've got a couple of grenades, and I've got a rifle grenade. Well, they're on the move. Attention, we have lost objective Fox. Just gonna... Fox means F. Oh, okay. Breaker. Oh, and they took B. This is going bad for our team. Uh, you're playing on an Xbox One X right yep. now? Yeah. Uh, have you messed around with PC at all? I have not. This is the only version I've seen. Okay. Uh, even at E3, they were primarily showing the Xbox One X. The other thing is uh, spawning on your squad, which they, you know, they've, they've done that for a little while now. Uh, yeah. It accelerates the process of just, you know, spawning and getting shot. Yep. Which, you know, Battlefield used to be spawn run for like eight or nine minutes to run across the map to where the action is. Race, then race a dude to a plane. He gets there first. Yeah, yeah, yeah yes. Then you turn around then and turn run to the battle. Yeah. Does this have vehicles? It does. Let's try this thing. I unlocked it recently and haven't tried it yet. Okay, well... All right. Well, we've taken this shitty shack. Let's see if we can move up here. Because my orders are still to try to hit D, so I'm just, I'm just following orders. Again, not a valid defense. I just, I'm just trying to take D. Is that a valid defense? Uh, I'm just trying to get that D. Yeah, I mean, it's state by state, but... Okay. There we go. Hoorah! Uh, I'm out of grenades. I tried to hit the grenade button, but I don't have any. Ooh. Hoorah. Oh, I'm on fire. That seems bad. Stop, drop, and roll. Oh, yeah. Hold the prone literally is what you do. Uh, so I'll, I'll recover some health, um, but not all of it. 
You see I have 21 down there, but it'll, it's flashing in a way saying like, hey, we'll, we'll get you back. I'm in range of control point C, but there are too many enemies here. There's one up there. Oh, yeah, you're right. There was one up there. Nope, it was that guy back there, though. Let's stare at the roof here. Hmm. Something weirdly grim about the, like, accelerate respawn timer making you look up to the sky. Yeah, just like, take it in one last time. Snipers. I'm gonna say, this battle's not going great for you guys. It's not. They have 600 tickets, we have 400. Ah. Well, what's up here? Mm. I've never been outstanding at Battlefield. Uh, but I did play a lot of Battlefield. Pro probably two and four are probably the, the ones I played the most multiplayer in. Uh, the only one I ever really fucked with was 1943. Yeah. Which I enjoyed because it was just like a nice little tight experience. Only a couple maps. Pretty straightforward mode. I'm gonna try and switch classes here because uh, the rest of my squad is all snipers. And so. What can I? Oh, that's right. I can go back to this. Uh, I think the the sniper guy, I think, is the one who can tag other nice. uh, tag other enemies. Uh, so not not all, not every class can spot anymore. That guy you sniped was named Regal Headass. Yeah, you know Regal Headass. Uh, but I've not played a lot of recon, so I don't know. So tagging people will mark them for everyone. Your squad. Yeah, yeah the the idea is that you're, you're marking them for everyone here. One up there. <sighs> this guy just slowly crawling. You mentioned something on the bomb cast about issues with the customization first, like which classes and which sides you're playing on? Uh, yeah, so, you know, you're getting unlocks and you can customize uh, stuff. Um, for each side. Uh, and there's cosmetic unlocks, so like, you know, different uniform pants and stuff like that. Uh, but also, you know, you're unlocking like, oh, here's a new gun, uh, or whatever. Right, like that grenade shot. launcher you Yeah, have. exactly, yeah. Uh, that's, that's just fast shoot. Um, and so you'll go to configure like, oh, I want my assault guy to have this, this gun. Right. Ah, that guy got me. Um, but you'll you'll set that up, and then it'll only set it for like the good guys, and you'll have to go over to the bad guys' side and configure it there too. Even though seems, they have the same guns, even though they have the same guns, okay. that's weird. Uh, it just seems like a waste of time. Yeah, seems like an oversight, honestly. Uh, and they've they've had it. It's been like this for some time, honestly. Uh, I feel like over the years they've kind of messed that up in different ways. Ah, I'm not much of a sniper. I'm not much of anything these days when it comes to battlefield, honestly. These games do really make it feel like a battlefield, like it's the fucked. chaos. You know, yeah, it's uh, it's it's definitely like fucked. <laughs> All right, uh, so now we can spawn over here at F, where things are bad, where you're here to pay respects. Yeah. Ah. Oh, it's cool that you see his like the fl the shine, yeah. the reflection in his scope. We have taken ah, man. I want you to kill this guy. Oh 
Oh my guys, it's over here, chilling. Oh, it's the edge of the map. That's also the edge of the map. Don't leave the combat zone, soldier. Well, what the hell? Where'd that guy go? Maybe this guy. Yeah, wait. Oh, wait. He's way he's back right there. He's right there. Maybe he's it's outside like, the area. Maybe it's their spawn has more of a generous combat zone. I suppose that's possible. Come on! Wait, you're in there. it. Oh, okay. Hey. I hit that guy. He hit me. War is hell. <laughs> Uh, what about, uh, I saw there was a single player thing there. What is that? I haven't touched it. It's, uh, it's War Stories. Uh, if it's anything like, uh, previous game, it, it's kind of like a gussied up tutorial. Like, you kind of get a little time in a tank, you get a little time in some of the different vehicles. Sure, you play each of the class, maybe? Yeah. Wait, did I, it said there was a car here, but I don't, where, mm -hmm. Ah. Oh. Got bullets, and ammo, and such. Is this is this what I got? No, that's not a drivable vehicle. Nope. It looked like there was a car here when I was hovering over it on the spawn, and now, don't you know it? We've spawned <laughs> a billion miles away. That's battlefield. Yeah, that's what I've gone and done. Um. Yeah, I don't know. I it's it's like I I look at the stuff and I'm like, man, this is like really well made and and but I and just it's just not clicking with me. And uh, I've gone back and forth on Battlefield a little bit over the years, you know, from game to game, and liked some more than others. And I, I, this one I feel like has all the component parts, but it's just odd. And it also like I've I've had we're not we have we've it's been okay here, but uh, been a lot of like networking issues that I've. Or, really? Uh, where it's just like, like I'll let off the the left stick and just it'll start skating across the ground, oh. and other players will be warping a little bit. Like it, it's been, you know, th there are icons appearing in the upper right, you know, so you can find like packet loss and other stuff like that. And, uh, you know, I've like checked out, like, oh, is my internet all fucked up? I'm like, no, <laughs> I checked it all out and went out and bought a gigabit Ethernet switch just to prove it to myself that. That other stuff was okay as well. Oh, jeez. Um. So those little uh, objectives on the left there, like spot five enemies. What is it you get when you do that stuff? Uh, you get uh, points. So uh, there's a whole store full of cosmetic stuff uh, that is all in-game stuff. Mm. It's not, uh, you know, EA kind of has taken a beating in the time since Battlefront 2, so this game does not sell uh, loot boxes, battle packs, whatever you want to call them. Uh, um, I hate sniping. <laughs> I don't like it. I just don't like sniping. I don't either. I used to, like, when I first tried UT for the first time, mm -hmm. I was like, damn, sniping's really cool. And then I've never liked it in a game since. Yeah. You know what I like? Shotguns and pistols. <laughs> yeah. I I don't know that a shotgun would do you a ton of good in most no. of these maps. But, no, not but yes. this game, but... Those are my video game guns of choice. Mm. Which is maybe why I'm an alpha protocol apologist. <laughs> See, that was a case where that guy saw one dude, went running up, and then I squad spawned, and then he was like, oh shit, there's another dude here. Uh, which I think it's just kind of, it's just kind of fucked. Yeah, it's strange. Like, it's, I think it's the right thing on the other end of it, because, like, spawning into the action is way better than spawning outside of the action. Um... Jeff, hurry, your team's in trouble. Alright, we're gonna try to... One man can win a war. That's right. We got 36, 35 tickets left. That's all we're gonna need. It's gonna be the greatest esports. Because we're gonna, of we're all gonna time. take D. We're gonna get that D once and for all. 
We took D. We got that D. I declined the comment. We have now taken objective Baker. Now we just need to get C. Just tell people on your team to stop dying. It's about time that they started doing the dying, am I right? That's right. Whoops. Well. It's a beautiful dream. Uh, they said they're going to add some sort of Battle Royale-ish mode, right? Something, yeah. Um, yeah, you know, they, they've uh, they have not sold a see what they said about that. premium pass this year. Um, leveled up my gun there. I think some of the, you know, and, and maybe this is because I am a little more used to Call of Duty. Uh, Firestorm. Yeah. Um, but uh, there's some stuff about, like, the, the way the weapons level up and the things you unlock when you level them and... Like, the, the menus, I think, for setting all that stuff up and, and building your loadouts and stuff, I think, could be better. Uh, but that might be something where, like, if you are if you play a lot of Battlefield, you're probably already used to it and whatever, but... Looks like they've already got some free DLC plans. They're adding another war story. Uh, something called Tides of War. Which is, looks to be... Include vehicle customization and a progression system that brings new item challenges and missions. Uh, some more Tide of War. Co-op mode. Rush mode. I don't know what that is. Uh, Rush is like a game type. It's a, like a faster version of Conquest, sort of. Sort of. Okay. Uh, squad Conquest. And then looks like, yeah, Firestorm's coming in March. Yeah. So, you know, it, the... Ghostbuster 77, War Hero, part of Squad Dog. I bet that guy's some, got something to say about current state of Ghostbusters. Uh, so, you know, you, you level up guns, you level up your class, all that sort of stuff. Uh, these assignments, when you complete them, you get... Uh, let's quit out here. Yeah, you want to show off... I want to see the customization stuff. Yeah. Uh, this is that part I was talking about where it seems broken. Oh, hey, it quit. Awesome. There you go. I feel like that's a one out of three thing of like, <laughs> if it quits or if it gets stuck at this menu. Well, don't jump. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, I will say I think the load times in this game are pretty long. Yeah, it seems that way. <clears throat> Maybe it stopped saying quitting, but is still going to trap us here. War is hell. Uh, yeah, I agree. But yeah, it's, you know, this, this is pretty minor, but like, I, there's enough like little minor things around the edges of it that I just find some things about this game to be a little frustrating. And the action itself is fine, you know, whatever. You, you, there we go. Um, the shooting is fine, you know, the, the mode stuff seems totally okay. Uh, so, yeah, if we go to the armory here, we'll see what we unlocked uh, for leveling up. It's a Hell skin yeah. for a magazine for this gun and a, a muzzle for the same gun. And, Fuck uh, yeah, dude. Yeah, and we go to the armory, you can see some of the cosmetics. Like, hey, here's a Nazi helmet for the Axis side and such. Uh, and it's just a lot of weapon skins and uniforms and face paints and okay. stuff like that. Uh, yeah. Yeah. You're in these points for leveling up. Uh, it's It still feels like a game that was built for microtransactions and you buying points or you buying battle packs and all that other stuff, uh, but seemingly without that stuff. Uh, I don't know if it'll stay that way or if that's something they're just kind of like, oh, we're going to launch this way. And, yeah, no. Um, so if we, we'll see a dot next to things where we got new stuff. Uh, the stuff we unlocked was... Muzzle color. See? Whoa! You got full on predator. That's right. Gun. Full predator over here. I made the gun look all fucked up. Yeah, it looks like a swamp. Yeah. Uh, you know. Some different sights. Um. 
So this this is the menu here, the specializations menu. And for the first weapon in every class, it comes pre-filled out. You don't have to level up the gun to to get it there. But uh, and uh, you know, this is stuff where you're like, oh, we want aim down sights 33% faster, or do you want to reload 15% faster? So you're kind of making choices here uh, along the way to determine kind of how you want the gun to handle. That's cool. Um, I like giving players more options. Sure, why not? Uh, you know, and you're unlocking additional weapons in every class. When I hit Assault Rank 8, I'll get this thing, which does more damage but is less accurate and less controllable than the gun I'm using, which, eh, higher rate of fire, I don't know that I would take that one. These semi-auto rifles, I don't think I would take. I would probably take this STG at rank 13 because it just seems to be lower rate of fire but more accurate. That seems like a decent trade. Uh, though these semi-auto also seem like they're they're probably okay. Uh, and so yeah, you'll you'll change out something on you know. So here's uh, my allied version of my assault character. Uh, I might go in here and say, hey, get, which is how it happened. I went, I don't want sticky dynamite. I want frag grenade rifle, and changed it, and then jumped into a game and got put on the axis side, and then didn't have that that rifle grenade. Is there a way to just hit a button and say do both? You know that'd be smart. Mm. Doesn't look like it. Let's change pistols. So yeah, we took the 1911 over here on Allied. Let's uh, let's go over to Axis, and we still have that P38. Yeah. So now I've got the 1911 over there too. But some stuff does come over, like that muzzle huh. and magazine I equipped. Whoa. So like the cosmetic stuff. That's weirder. The, yeah, the cosmetic stuff moves over, but. I feel like, if anything, it should be the opposite. Yeah. Because you Yeah. Right? Yeah. You, yes, exactly. <laughs> Correct. Uh, it's just weird, That man. is weird. I don't know. Um, A bold choice. Yeah. Uh, and then you can, you know, change out characters. You don't have, like, full face control, but, you know, you can play as different characters here. It's like, oh, when I play as a, a assault character on the Axis side, I'm this one. You know, that sort of stuff. And when you go and look, it shows you all four of your people that you've created there. And yeah. Yeah. Um, and so, yeah, they, you know, they, the tank customization stuff just says coming soon. Uh, but it does have some of the... And, and so, I, I, this stuff, each vehicle levels up separately and has a separate progression, which seems like a hassle. Um... Because like once you level up one of them, do you really want to start over from scratch on some of these vehicles that you don't always get in right all that often? And you know, some, sometimes that could be you know. Hey, you know, I guess like you know, if you're playing, if you plan on playing hundreds of hours of this game, yeah, or totally. Like yeah, you, that you're you're not wrong. Let's let's jump into war stories here and see what we got. Finish under no flag. Letters, challenges, reward, unique melee weapon. Okay, so you know, you kind of get some unlockables here. Dirty tricks and black humor. We're gonna reinvent the fighting man. I don't know what that means. Uh, the opening of the game talks a lot about, like, just mankind and warfare and all that sort of stuff. The... So does war change or never change in this game? War changes. Okay. Absolutely. Troublemakers, cutthroats, and buccaneers! <laughs> Okay. Load times. Yeah. All right, this already seems more elaborate than the stuff that was in uh, the last battlefield. 
This guy looks like a buccaneer for sure. Oh yeah. He's got Tampa Bay written all over him. It's Mike Allstott. He's a football player. Oh, I thought he was a Florida man. Uh, and a Florida, yeah. Okay. Definitely a Florida man. Are you Billy Bridger? It says on my pad here, criminal use of explosives, assault, attempted armed robbery, arson, attempted armed robbery. <laughs> did you try and rob the same bank three times? No. Oh, yes, you did. Because you're Billy Bridger. You are the son of big, bad, horrible Arthur Bridger. I'm all a fucking Bridger. Give me the fucking money. <laughs> now that's your dad, isn't it? So how comes he didn't get sent down with you then? Started all them troops on your own. Oh, yeah. I've got a little deal for you. I'm putting together a unit. You're gonna fucking love it. It's right up your street, your sort of thing. And it's gotta be better than being in there. we will be fine. What sort of unit? Tell me, Bridger. Do you like the seaside? This is fun. Yeah. It's like a movie. Yeah. Prisoners. Forced to fight. Oh, yeah. We're partying up now, boys. I drink a four loco on the boat. Teams are two. Move. I'm sick. I'm chucking me guts up over here. Oh. And you're just strolling off. Oh, Bridger, liven yourself up. Come on. There's a lovely little ice cream shop down there, and I'm treating you to a cornet. I don't know what a cornet is. It's um, a, blast, a bass instrument similar to the trumpet, but distinguished uh, by its conical bore, low com more compact shape, and mellower tone and quality. So maybe that would be oh. like they would talk about an ice cream cone <laughs> that way because it is kind of conical like shaped tone. Yeah. I can barely move without spilling over. <laughs> what do you want me to do? Tuck you in again? Oh yeah, it's like a little ice cream now, cone. On, That's cute. Ooh, some of them have savory cornets. We're gonna follow Mason and make him tell us about the numbers. Really? They're gonna name. Th there's lots of names out there. Hey, the Masons control everything, man. This is true. You ever looked at the back of a dollar bill? You still have the explosives on you. Yeah, and I've improved them with my own special recipe. Right. You two, you know what? Good-looking dirt and mud and rocks, and this engine still looks great. Yeah, this year has had a lot of really good-looking mud. Mud tech mm -hmm. through the roof. This dude's running animation on said mud. I'm loving it. That's a Stuka incoming. Damn, the planes were meant to blow up. Yeah, yeah, that's them all right. What are you doing there? <laughs> hey, it's a, uh, you know. Serpentine. <laughs> all right, he doesn't want to catch one. All right, this seems like a good place to teach you how to crawl. Pretty soon we're going to teach you how to fire that gun. All right. Crawl, walk, shoot. Have you been here before? Do you know where we're going? Oh yeah, I come here all the time. I bring the missus a lot sometimes. That so guy's know, dripping with sarcasm. Oh yeah, that guy. Listen. This job requires a certain amount of think on your feet. Do you understand? Right. Yeah. Right. That looks nice. Yeah. Right then. Now get on them binoculars and tell me what you see. Germans. Oh. On Ooh. the other ridge there. Looks like a load of barrels. You know I wouldn't try using them for cover. You never know what's inside. Looks like lots of rubbish. Maybe an alarm? Yeah, probably a radio too. Now it's gonna be best to watch out for both because we don't need more enemies showing up. I can see the airstrip. It's a long way off, though. The hangar there is most likely secured. 
So once you're down there, pull your finger out your arse and find a way inside. Finger, arse, got it. Are you sure about these bombs of yours? These safe pack of specials? They'll blow this place to pieces, mate. Don't you worry. Or if I get caught, though, you're just gonna piss off and leave me, huh? Get all the glory yourself. Glory? <laughs> there ain't no fucking glory, son. Now listen to me, carefully. I'm gonna put my bombs on those planes over there. And you are gonna put yours on them there. Yeah, right, right. Do not get caught. I'll be waiting for you at the meeting point. I'm on it. No time to waste, son. Down you go. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Easy, easy! Whee! It's like Windsor Waterworks. Yep, we're definitely gonna get wet. I'm soldiers. You horrible bastard, Mason. Yeah, this seems like a single player campaign thing. Like, th this seems a little more robust than what I was thinking. Yeah. Try and stab this guy. It yeah. won't let me. Oh yeah. It let me. Yeah, all right. Let's... Probably stab this guy. Mm. Maybe I can disable the alarm. Great. Starting with a stealth sequence seems like a bold choice. Yeah. Hey, buddy. Hey, Psst. buddy. Psst. Psst. Oh. Caesar Trank darts. Okay, yeah. OSP. That's bad. Here we go. Now we're battlefielding. Let's get this MP40. Go plant some bombs. Yeah. I like the animation of, I picked up some ammo. There, whenever he holds up the little bag. It's like a kid going through their lunch. Yeah. That's probably the thing I wasn't doing when I was playing as the sniper, is pulling out the binoculars. I bet you need to do that in multiplayer to to actually mark guys. Whoa, whoa. I marked that guy a little too well. <laughs> the f oh, there he is. Okay, great. More alarms, or am I just good now? Back off, back off, back off. Oh, that's the other thing is if you're holding back when you go prone, you go on your back. Okay. That's kind of a cool idea. You know, you roll around. We. Can you shoot yourself in the leg? Wait, no. aim all the way back? Like down? Uh, how are you? What is up with your body right now, dude? Um, it's are fine. you like the Slender Man? I didn't. I you have say to tell it, me if you're the Slender Man. I'm the Slender Man. Go get those team girls over there. Can I do this? Uh, I did. I only took six damage. I'm 
gonna go ahead and call it. You're going to succeed, and the other guy is going to fail. Hmm. Will that mean I'll have to go blow up his planes too? Yeah. Ah, this isn't a stealth video game. Uh, I was 100% convinced that was gonna work. Oh. That guy. Uh, I've shot him a lot of times. Oh, this is probably bad for me. Doesn't look great. We died. Congratulations, congratulations to William. For making it to 20? 20. Yeah, happy birthday. <laughs> happy birthday, William. Okay. They're right to set me all the way back here because the way I got up further ahead was total bullshit. <laughs> like, no, fucker. You didn't play right. Stupid ass. I wonder if I can go around that way. No. Here. Oh, yeah, there. Okay. What we got up here? Sniper rifle. With silencer. Okay, that seems good. Yeah. Anyone spotting a dead body will raise the alarm. Good to know. I feel like that's something they sh should have mentioned earlier. <laughs> Maybe this is a new checkpoint. Yeah, it might be. Hey, come on! Hast du den Tornister des Feldwebels gesehen? Da drüben! What's up, man? Throw a lure. This guy's throwing lures! Um, uh, that was a weird exchange. Yeah. He knocked me on my ass, but I stabbed him. It's a decent trade. Nope. Take care of this dude before he finds that body. What's up, man? Elegance. going, man. How's this rank on the satisfying to kill Nazis scale? Ah. Uh. That's okay. Yeah. They yell a lot in German. Like Wolfenstein. Yeah. I had dreams of doing this, uh, you know, the right way and being like maybe stealthy or something, but... But honestly, who has the time?
Oh, damn it. Ugh. Hang on, hang on. Don't find me. Oh, there was a guy down, looked like. Like running at you, maybe. This guy with his big helmet is just like getting shot in the head a bunch of times and kind of laughing about it. Yeah, dude, his helmet's fucking huge. He's a flamethrower guy. This guy. Not a flamethrower guy. Not anything anymore. Yeah, there's a dude like directly under you. There okay. You This fucking guy. Yeah! That was cool. Yeah. Alright, we took care of the flamethrower guy. I bet if anyone is nearby, they're gonna come check out what all those explosions were. <laughs> yeah, uh, something's on fire over there, so maybe they should check that out. Which means you are safe to go. Jimmy needs to be more careful. You never know he's about. There she is. Stealth mission's going great. I feel like wouldn't you put a bomb like on the it. center of it just to make sure you were... Huh. Oh, God. Yeah, but I feel like without a wing it's going to be fucked either way. Yeah. I feel like there's no bad place to put a bomb on I a guess plane. so. Uh, that's a sentence. Yeah. That's <laughs> Hi. Oh, Oh, no, he did his job. Yep. <laughs> Almost killed me. Yeah, that's because my bombs went off. What about yours? One are gonna go up any second. What oh, is? Jesus Christ, Bridget, did you plant your bombs or not? Wait for it. I'm telling you now, these special explosives for yours, they better be really fucking special. Wait for it. Good job. Oh, sweet Jesus. Sweet Jesus. Here we are. Up Fritz's shitter, and I ask you to do one thing. One fucking thing that you tell me that you're a big expert. Can I just in. say no, you can't. What the fucking hell was that? I've occasionally had teething problems. Teething problems? Don't make me fucking laugh. I could have done that with a fucking light breeze, a speck of rain, or a tiny teeny bird perched on that wing would have done more damage. Well, there's a plane now. Ooh, let's get on this thing. I think this is one of the Archies he was talking about. Yeah, I wonder what that's short for. Yay. Oh, I should be, uh, focusing on these planes, huh? Uh, this thing doesn't look like it goes up high enough, but there's, it's marked an icon over here and over there, so maybe those are the ones I meant to. Eh. Let's find out. Only one way. Yep. That's war, you yep. know? You just hop that barbed fence? Yeah. Okay. How's the destruction stuff? I remember them talking that up in a big way. It's been okay. Um, you know, I've seen some of it in the multiplayer stuff. Like, uh, I don't know that I've seen anything that's been like oh full on, God. like, oh, this. Let's see what you've got. This building is collapsing, or some of the other stuff that they've done in the past. But, but like I said, I, I, you know, playing multiplayer, it seems like I get the map from the beta over and over again. Uh, and so I feel like there's plenty of maps in this game that I haven't seen yet. That's, that's going down. Oh, there you go.
Hell, it was messy, but you got it done, kid. Incredible. <laughs> Frank, Shay, you welcome. You're a fucking disaster. Me? You're the one who's gonna go himself so full of holes in shop. Yeah, because of you, you tit. Listen, I was sitting pretty in prison, mate. I was not bothering nobody and not getting shot at till you come along. This is your fucking fault. Listen to me. You took the fucking deal. You wanna start paying it off your end? Then you need to fucking liven yourself up, boy. Do you understand me? Halt! Miss Idea! Oh my god. Wah wah. Why would that guy stop and just not <laughs> shoot them or hit them with his car? His whole base is on fire and he sees two Americans. Hey, you guys! Allies? Hey, you have any idea what happened here? I'm new, it's my first day. I can't wait to do war. You're gonna have to do this next one on your own, alright? Just like you did all those banks, remember? Yeah. Yeah. Didn't he fuck up all those banks, though? Yeah, yeah, I mean, he was in prison, so he couldn't have been that good. All right. Yeah, of course I am. Listen. Take this. This goes bang on everything. Right. I'll get down here, finish it up. Get you some help. I'm holding you to that deal. Yeah, just do the job I'm So I definitely don't think they would let him use his own care. bombs. They would be like, nah, dude, just take yeah. these fucking grenades. Hey, it was a, it was a rough time. It's sure. Move. Go. Better get a move on then. Need to knock out all the supplies here. That bunker might have what Mason needs. Need to shut down those radar stations. Alright, some continuity. I've got the same guns I had in the last mission. Uh, That's cool. Right you got some op options where you can go next. Yeah. You know, these marked areas where it's like, hey, do you want a different gun? This is where we put them. It's a little weird, but eh. Uh, can I go back up here and see my guy? Put him out of his misery? Yeah. Look, dude. It's bleeding pretty bad. You really don't want to get an infection. This is a lot better. Yeah. Okay, so it seems, yeah, not insignificant single-player content. Yeah! That's cool. Yeah, probably, this seems alright, Probably man. a really good place to start if you don't have a lot of battlefield experience. Right, yeah, you're gonna, you know, you're gonna get a chance to... ...do a lot of the stuff, right? Yeah. Uh, Try out a bunch of guns, some vehicle stuff. Yeah. I saw that the next one of these that's coming is tank-focused. Actually, this silenced one is probably the one to keep here. Uh, drive this Volkswagen thing. See how many Nazis you can run over. Woo! The thing is a rockin'. Yeah. Uh, what's up, guys? <laughs> that was cool. That was cool as shit! Oh, hell yeah, war rules! <laughs> Took a fucking bag of ammo off that dude before he even fell over. <laughs> you won't be needing this. Yeah. <laughs> hang on, hang on, just, if you could... Oh! Just hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. Alright, that didn't kill him, but, eh, you know. All right, where were we? There you go. Yeah. Oh, jeez. That one hurt. And I'm not 100% positive where it came from. Yeah! Oops, that's a bad shoot. Hang on. Oh, ah! 
Nice. One HP is all you need. War as heck. <laughs> I wonder if, as the war goes on, I assume that changes. Be like, ah, oh, you made it to one twenty-one. Year older. Congratulations. <laughs> so that's Battlefield. You know, they've got uh, they've got some new multiplayer modes and stuff in there. Uh, you know, that, that does kind of change some of the rules around, like, oh, what are you capturing and when? Um, some modes that are a little more focused on infantry as opposed to the kind of full scale like planes and tanks and shit. Right. Uh, yeah, you can call in big rockets as you know as the the game sways in your favor and stuff like that. Uh, you know what? I wasn't planning on playing that much more of this, but I'm but you know in in a year that is maybe light on single player shooter campaigns, <laughs> I might uh, I might play some more of this. This. Uh, this seems like it could be cool. Yeah. So it's cool that they got some free DLC for it plan too. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing. They kind of got away from their premium pass plan. I, yeah, I think honestly that's part of the Battlefront Two thing is yeah. they just they took it so hard uh, over that stuff for the the stuff they did with that game that now they're kind of rightfully so. Yeah, uh, that they're they're kind of like oh, there's <laughs> no premium pass, so everyone let's gets roll all things back like four and, years. Uh, mm, yeah. Oh. These aren't even all available yet. Like the last mission won't even be available until the fourth. Okay, yeah. That's weird. Oh, well wait, this is we're still in the first one, so I guess these are all different characters. So okay. Oh, and the years too. Yeah. So maybe yeah, and maybe look, we won't like, see him in nineteen he turned twenty one. <laughs> maybe he'll pop up in the other one. Yeah. It'll be his birthday. Okay. Well. This one, this first one. Prisoner turned loose to fuck shit up. That's a cool idea. Yeah. I can't speak to the other ones, but yeah, sure, why not? Uh, that's Battlefield 5. It looks like a battlefield. It, yes, absolutely. In it's, a way uh, that's neither shocking nor disappointing. Yeah. Uh, like I said, I think there's some rough stuff around the edges of, of the game. Um, and I think, you know, like Battlefield has always been, it's, it's you know, best played with people you like and know. Like, if you can get four people together to form a squad and just jump into games and just squad around and, and fuck around like and Actually call like, objectives and move yeah, in on them, like, yeah. Like that's, even if you're not taking it seriously, that can be a good time. Totally. Um, but, you know, yeah, it's, it's pretty similar. So, you know, I, I think there's kind of a, like, take it or leave it sort of thing with that. Uh, seems all right, though. Thanks, Ben.